All right, another round of uh, our Braids deck with uh, an independent jungle format and a match for the league. This is the last league match I've got. So let's see how it goes. They're kind of hard to find matches. Uh, all day break, but um, this is why the, the uh, kind of painful to do a league, kind of like league videos because sometimes you start playing the same people or only like certain people are joining, whatever. Every now and then, it's like kind of hit or miss. All right, want to die roll? We are on the play, um, and okay, I'm gonna keep. I'm not really sure what our opponent's playing. I'll generally keep any hand that had like green sources, like at least one green source. You only need one throughout the game. So, I mean, I'll just like keep that usually. I have like two, one too many lands in this deck. I want to go to 23, but excuse me, I know that hitting the land drops is really important. You really want to just like curve out. So just hitting, getting like the four to five lands is like really important. And just having that steady stream of lands, because you're usually just sacking lands is really good. Plague Mirror, okay. Maybe some sort of Infect style build. I'll offer the trade here, although I'm not really going to trade. I would just like save it. Right. Let's make two blockers. Whispering Spectre. So maybe our opponent's playing a sort of like Infect style build for sure. This is the dead getaway. And I am just gonna run straight lands. Alright, let's just attack with everything. Can't, don't, can't do much else, really. Another yeah, Sifter. Might sack one of these sign tokens just to like get a scry so I don't hit another land drop. Who knows what kind of like random pump spells I could have? I could just be dead right now. A bunch of like vampire vampire bites or something like that, or or this card, <laughs> infectious bloodlust. Basically, when it dies, it gets another one, so it just keeps keeps getting more of the same card. Agent class, okay. Okay. Didn't really expect that, but yeah, I gotta take it here. Luckily, like if uh, they sack the creature, I'm just losing three lands. It's not a big deal to me. Um, I think I'm gonna scry here. I mean, I could race this, but I don't think there's much racing. I get a double scry too, which doesn't make it great. Area Thrall, not gonna be good enough here. I'll come back. We really want removal. Just trying to find removal. Oh, another Carrier Thrall. Uh, well. I can't really block this thing, and I'm kind of on a two turn clock. Maybe I'm just a weak to flyers. <laughs> I think so. I think that's the case here. There's Spectre, sure. But even if I kill this one, the next one's gonna kill me. Because the infectious bloodlust will come back. Oh, hammer hand. Alright, now I'm just really dead. Right now there's a lot of like just really cheap auras that are just like pretty powerful. Hasty. I 
I'm gonna just like dump one of these and dump my hand. I think it's fine. No, I don't think it's, I think it's like really. I don't think you do that. All right, they did it. Because I guess like I guess our opponent probably just has another creature to enchant the uh, bloodlust. Because now if I draw any removal spell, I can just kill this and just like block a bunch. But then I'm still on like a turn to a clock. With the clasp. But it doesn't mean I'm not attacking here. Because I'm definitely going to like attack them too. They're also on a two turn clock. So. What is Rule spell. Uh, what the. I should have actually scryed here. Yeah, maybe I should have just scry to get like a actual like direct damage rule spell. I'll just concede here. I gotta play this out. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't have hit. No, I would have hit if I just scry. Yeah, I would have actually would have hit that. <sighs> okay, let's see. Um, Alter price would be fine. All the infect creatures are black. I mean, there's probably like one. I think there's one red infect creature, but he's like a zero four for four. No one's gonna play that. <laughs> Famous last words. Uh, I'll probably probably play a one or two naturalizes. That'd be good against like a lot of like hasty enchantments. Harsh casualties could be okay. Probably don't want Unwall mysteries. It's a little grind too grindy for me. Um, we don't even need time and need. I think we're like a little slow for this. I don't even want naturalize. I might just want like. I mean, it does kill like plague mirrors and like contagion class, but I don't want that. I probably just want like all just like straight removal. All right, let's try that. Uh, this thing's all right. I mean, it's got no threats, but at least I have removal. Maybe try to get a two from with those marsh casualties. Hopefully it's slowly X ones. <laughs> if I see like something like a plague lord or or was it hand of the praetors or like a vat mother, probably just dead. Well, I'm not gonna die to it. I murder. Still. Bullring Spire, that's good tech. Not good against me. I think I have like I I think I have a really good way of going wide in this deck. Let's get here. I guess we're just gonna sit here and stare at each other for a while. Cause my hand is all reactive. Like I'm not gonna play the red cat out red cat app just to play it, you know? If he plays a creature or if one plays a creature, yes, I'm gonna just kill it. Low fly infestation. Creature dies. If I had a one on one counter, I play a one on one counter and target creature. Okay. Oh, so that's. This is a perfect opportunity to just slam braids. That was a good draw. Like even if, even if they burst it down, burst lightning it down, just, I still get the value out of it. They might just wait for my turn, so I have a sack of land and then it dies. It's fine. Sack swamp here. All right. Pocrosite. A little bug that keeps on coming. I've actually really been impressed with Pocrosite in this deck. So I, thought, I think it's been really, like, in terms of, like, the resiliency of, like, my random creatures, this guy has been really, really boss. This time I'm gonna sack another swamp. 
Because I have the red cap to kind of like two for one my opponent. This is the power of braids. Like just you can just two for one your opponent at least once or twice. This is this is what happens. And now I get the sack. I get sack creature of my choice, which will probably like if they play a creature, I'm just gonna sack the red cap and kill it. They don't play anything. I'm just gonna sack the Apocrisite. and then just get value out of that. I'm gonna I want to keep my lands this time. Yeah, this time I'm stacking the Apocrisite. It'll come back a couple turns. Another one. Just the slow, slow murder that is braids. Underworld Connections thing. This time I'm, I'm tagging the Apocrisite again. Another, my second Apocrisite. Ooh, Catacomb Sifter. Perfect. Now my sacks get scryed. This lets me actually sack a land. So now I have like this creature. That makes my yeah. In fact, they're on a one turn clock here. Next turn, they're just dead. Let's we'll say I have some sort of removal spell. But even still, I think the Apocrypha is coming out in like two turns. The first one. I where they can draw here. Maybe like a burst lightning. I think it matters here. A sack of land here. Alright. There are four braids on an empty board. That's what happens if you don't deal with it. The slow grind. I don't know, Brad and. I don't know, Chris, not really, really concerned about that card at all. Though I am more concerned about the. Um, Random enchantments. I'm actually might bring a naturalize over to Marsh Casualties. I think like ultimate price is like enough to kill most things. So I might want to actually bring in the naturalizes. The blowfire station could be a problem. And it also hits like play like I said, it hits like Plague Mirror and like connections if it if it's really a problem. It seems that like kinda like bites me in the butt. I don't think it will though. Uh, I think this hand's fine. Rural spell, creature here. On a mulligans. Hack up scissor, kind of gum up the board on the ground. I think I'm just forced to devour flush anything. Want to play is this is playing? Yeah, I think I just have to do this because it gets worse the more like you play creatures. Like, and this like prevents like a turn, a four drop on turn three, which would give me. I mean, in fact, has like really good four drops. Like, like I said, has a Phyrexian Vat Mother and Hand of the Praetors. Both are like really strong. Get the sifter out. More aside. Interesting. 
Maybe they need braids here, I guess. It is really annoying. But like, I don't know if like more sides what you want in this matchup. Who knows? I, I don't know. Maybe it's like just a creature. Like the fact that you can't deal with a creature is really strange. So yeah, they name braids. So they're all gone. That's okay. We'll just have to dink and dunk them here with a bunch of <laughs> weaklings. They are weak, so. Next turn, I'm play actually playing two creatures. I'm just gonna trade this creature for the other creature. For some attacking, though. I should have actually played this first. I'll we'll keep that. Actually, I can't even cast it. I'll put it on the bottom. I did this wrong. I can't do that wrong, but it's whatever. It's bad sequencing. I agree. <laughs> I agree that's very bad sequencing. Interesting. I don't know what I put on my opponent's hand. But, I mean, not my concern. My concern is the beat down. I'm kind of hoping that my opponent doesn't have some like sort of infest style card right now. <laughs> Infest wouldn't be that bad against me. You might hit it, get hit by an Infest right here. Whispering Factor, sure. This is a Bloodlust. I just, I mean, I have the Devour Flush. I don't know if they know about that. They did see my hand with Morris, I'm not sure if they actually know that I have one. I think I drew this last turn, or two turns ago. Okay, a triple scry. <laughs> the infamous triple scry. Well, that's the one card left, so I think they're all in on this card, so this could be good. Gatekeeper, um, sure, we'll keep this on top. We'll draw that and just like wait. Your opponent's just dead here. They don't have another creature. Yeah, so like if they, any, if they even play like a one random one drop, dead, dead on board here. Oh, I guess it goes to nine. No, I have nine. I have nine exactly. All right, sweet, we did it. Don't need the namesake card, just dink and dunk with the uh, kind of tempo-ish creature plan. All right, we'll see you at the finale of this.